because you have already done mean absolute deviation, you, I know you already know how to calculate the mean, which is calculate the average. Um, I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to teach you how to figure out um, the, the grade that you need to get a certain average. So I'm going to do example one. An example one, the person has a 62, a 65, and a 73. And the person asks, what do I need to have on my next test so I can pass? What on, oops, on next test to pass? So basically you want to know um, implied is you want to have a 70 average. Okay, so you're going to set up an equation. And so what you usually do is you would take your 62 plus your 65 plus your 73 plus whatever test score you have. You're going to divide it by 4 and that has to be 70. Okay. So that's the equation that you're set up because you know what you want your average to be. You just don't know what this, this test score is right here. Now, if you're going to do this by hand, you would calculate, um, you would um, solve it. So you would have, uh, first thing I would do is I would combine these terms. Um, I would combine, here let me show you what I'm talking about. I would combine these terms. So that is 7, 8, 9, 10, um, 14, 200. Hold on just a second. I have to come over here. I can't do it in my head. 62 and 65. My pen's deciding not to work. And there we go. 65 and 73. That's 0. 7 and 7 is 14. Oh, yeah, 200 over 4, oops, plus x equals 70. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And I'm going to have 200 plus x equals 280. And then I'm going to subtract 200 from both sides. And x equals 80. So if, in conclusion, if I wanted to pass this, or pass the class with a 62, a 65, and a 73, my last test I would have to get an 80. Okay, make sure if you put it in the calculator, and you don't do it by hand, this is 62 plus, because I know some of you know how to solve equations in the calculator, plus 73. Oops. Ugh, my thing is not wanting to write to, tonight. Sorry. 73 plus x. Notice I have these parentheses, then you divide by 4, and you set that equal to, um, oops, divide by 4, equal to 70. And so the big takeaway on this is, that's a divide by 4, um, 4. When you are setting up these problems, what you're going to do is, 
you're going to take um, the number of tests plus your unknown, divide it by the total number of tests, and set it equal to the average that you want to obtain, and then solve that equation.